Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working on a Ford Edge, guys. And we will show you guys where to find the fuse for the engine computer, the PCM computer, guys. So, if guys, your car is not starting, not running right, something's bad, misfiring, not getting fuel, not getting spark, guys, check those fuses, guys. Uh, you have actually up to four fuses. And if your car is not getting fuel, you have, guys, three more fuses, two fuses and one diode for the fuel pump. So check those as well, guys. Quick introduction, guys. Every single car we get at the shop, including this generation for Edge, we are, guys, planning on making at least 200 videos. Why? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. If you guys need to buy new fuses, relays, car parts, tools, and you want to save even more money, check out the link in the description of the video below. I will go ahead, open the hood, guys, and I will show you what I'm talking about here. We guys even had a Ford Edge in the past that was misfiring. Okay, we replaced everything you could think of. Uh, new spark plugs, new ignition coils, and end up being a bad engine computer, guys. So if you have problems with the engine computers, check your fuses, check relays. But it could be a bad computer too, guys. So this is it. This is the computer right here. And uh, not very complicated to get to it. And uh, some people even offer repairing services on eBay. That's where we send ours and they fix it. But we'll show you guys where the fuses are located now. We have four or five fuses. So I'll show you where each one of them uh, could be located. So right here, press in here, pull up, fuse box comes out. Okay, and you can see the layout here, guys, corresponds to what we have right there. So that way, you know which number it is. But unfortunately, they do not tell you what the fuse or the relay is for. Okay, that's the sad part. So let us explain you guys, okay, what we need to do now. First fuse that we need to uh, locate, it's actually fuse number 30, three zero, guys. This is the first fuse. Okay, right there. And this is, guys, a 15 amp fuse. Okay, and this is the fuse I'm talking about. If you guys need to buy replacement fuses, okay, check out that fuse box. We we'll have the link in the description of the video below. We can get them for a super good price, the whole fuse box, with free fuse power as well. This is fuse number one. What about the other guys' fuses, the other fuses? So you need to check fuse number 30, fuse number 31. You need to check fuse number 32, 33, guys. Okay, so those are the four fuses. Checking here, okay, we have fuse number one, two, three, four. These four fuses are for the engine computer, guys. Now, what about the fifth fuse, guys? Fifth fuse is separate, and it's fuse number 49. This fuse right here, behind that big relay, 10M fuse, right there, guys. So this is the other fuse as well. When you're ready, guys, okay, if you need to pull one, let me just show you how to do it, guys. Grab a fuse pour, okay, grab a fuse pour, get on top of it, pull it out, okay, and if you need, you replace it. If you need to check if it's good or bad, you can usually see right here if it's burnt or not, and later you get a replacement one if you need to, and reinstall it. Don't forget to put that cover, otherwise you can get dust and uh, humidity inside and ruin your fuse box. So hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you guys next time.